To choose the room types that can be sold online, go to Settings, Online Bookings, Online Options and select the Room Type Setup tab. Start by checking each of the room types that you'd like to be available for online bookings. Next, enter the number of rooms that are to be held back from online bookings for each room type. If you leave this as zero, there'll be no restriction and the last available room can be sold online. If you enter a one, the last room will never be sold online. If you enter a two, the last two rooms will not be sold, and so on. Now let's understand exactly what's happening here. By now, you should have decided on your allotment settings. For example, Let's say you have a room type with five rooms, with an allotment of four rooms for online bookings. That is, you're saying for each of your online agents, including the Book Now button, between them, they can sell four of your five rooms in total. However, if any one of the five rooms is sold offline, such as a walk-in, and this field is set to zero, RMS will still make the last room available to online bookings, regardless of the allotment settings. So if you get nervous about having your last rooms available to be sold online, it might make more sense for you to allot all rooms to online, but enter a one or a two here to make sure the last one or two rooms can only be sold offline. Choosing a room type manager from the list of RMS users provides the option of sending a copy of reservation notifications to the nominated person. Ignore this if you don't support the concept of a room type manager at your property. The section on the right provides the option to nominate a default room type and rate type in the unlikely situation where a reservation is passed to you by an online travel agent where a room type and rate type has not yet been configured. The next video in this series covers online page settings.